tell me about when you were Little, you came Little to Rock Little Rock, Rock for the first oh, time. It was in uh, 2007. I hopped a train from St. Louis and, or something. And, I don't know. I went across that bridge over the river, jumped off the train in front of the it was uh, Union Station, which is like the Amtrak passenger station. And did you like the ambiance upon arriving here? Did you feel the cultural flavor and, and find that appreciation for it? No. What happened was I tried to go to the public library to check my email, and I ended up walking to the Bill Clinton Presidential Library. And I was oh, confused. so it wasn't an actual library. No, it was the Bill Clinton Presidential Library. It was like library. a snuff library. Yeah, like yeah. And it was, and stuff. Yeah, and it was full of security, and I was like kind of embarrassed. I was like, oh, shit. But then I did find the uh, public library, and I got a really pleasant email um, telling me that I had uh, I had won ten thousand dollars in a photo contest. Look, I want sunglasses. I should have got my sunglasses. They're nice. I have They're them in my bag. Fucking nice. You know, you're one of my favorite friends to hang out with. Like I was just telling you, I mean it. Because you're just good conversation. I'm a dumbass too. You're good conversation. You're laid back. You're friendly. You don't judge people. Well, I can't. You don't. I can't sincerely have this conversation without sunglasses on. I'm gonna have to pull over and get them out. But who gives a fuck? I already took all these train hopping photos, and it's like a famous book, and it's fine. I did it already. The train hopping thing's really been beat to death. You know that? I know, and I already did it. So it's like I don't need to be hanging out. I don't need to be hanging out uh, with fucking... I was impressed with Little Rock, though. You know, racially mixed, perhaps egalitarian. We drove Could that be true? I don't know. What is the culture like there? It's racially mixed. It seemed pretty laid back. Working class, somewhat immune to the culture war. Uh, you know, the culture we're stewing in this country. It's already 1.15. We've been 15, we're 12 barely... hours from where we're going all day. We've stopped like 12 uh, times. There's fucking Vernonia blooming still. Golden rats. You got salad dog over Beautiful Gert in Arkansas where people, where strangers still wave to you as they pass you by. Okay, here in Gert in Arkansas, why don't you explain to us what you're doing? Oh, we, we, we were driving by this... It's a it's an old burned down machine shop. Okay, and you got this fascination with this stuff, or what are you doing? No, well, not with like ruin porn, but like with certain things, like machine shops that can burn down or decay. They're kind of interesting. There's ruin porn, I like that. This is a liability, but Arkansas doesn't seem too strict about that. It's got a, a very distinct smell. Probably lots of uh, hazardous waste around here. What are you doing? Are really interesting. Just brush your shoes off before you get back in the sedan, okay? Okay. Did my flash go off? Yeah. Okay. See the grease? The grease cans are fucking interesting. It's like melted grease. And there's an old like tuba, like a little instrument over here. Yeah, look at it. The roof is not stable. It might not be structurally sound. And you should probably be wearing a mask to protect against any kind of uh, airborne particulates you could be breathing in, carcinogenic particulates. You know, bits of fiberglass, uh, combusted material. You know, the cancer risk here is very stark. Ugh. Yeah, I can, I'm breathing in airborne particulates. Look, at, isn't this pretty though? Oh. So fucking cool. I mean, yeah, it's nice. The scrap, uh, the scrap potential is is exquisite. You get some tweakers in here. They clean this place out in about 15 minutes. What is that melted thing? Looks like a dong. Looks like a melted dong. You gotta be, you should be wearing a mask. There's shit, I can see the shit floating around in the air. All kinds of little bits. You don't want that shit in your lungs. There's probably asbestos. You get probably, there's probably fucking lead. <laughs> you look like a lurker over there. Just hiding. Hiding in, hiding in a, in a crannies over there. You don't even see, I couldn't even see it at first. Oh, God. Come on, you want to get out of here or what? What are you it's doing? Done. Hang on. I got to in the bathroom. This used to be a good jab. Look at the bathroom. Look at the bathroom. Dude, it looks 
crazy. It's all burnt. But I don't want to breathe in here. Oh God. Pretty cool. It's beautiful. Uh, I guess so. So what do you what do you see here? I just I don't I see like beauty in shit like dark shit. Beauty in dark shit. Amer it's dark. It's Americana, but it's the end of Americana. Like this is old business. People don't start up machine shops anymore. This is like from thirties, forties. Now it's burned out. It's done. It's gone. It's gonna be scrapped. Everything's old. The urinal, the toilet, the toilet paper roll. Everything is like fucking eighty years old. So that's like an early model urinal. Would you would you take that? You could polish it up. Could be a candidate for a nice uh, eBay shipping business, antiques. Yeah, who's that artist who made, who, who uh, sold that urinal? That was R. Mutt. Yeah, well, wasn't that his like fake name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, Rose Say La Vie. No, no, no. It was uh, Marcel Duchamp. You're right. An old, it's like bake light. Look, it's like this old lampshade, but it's melted. Isn't it kind of cool? Oh God, look at that. Isn't it kind of cool? It's like circa 1970s plastic. Should I keep it? That was before they used to make it in China. Should I take it? It's kind of. Just... I don't know if I once want I that in a vehicle. It, you bring I the take... stuff in a vehicle to cancer. We're already going to get know. cancer from once this I spot. Once take it out of its element, it won't be as interesting anyway. Right. It's context is everything. That's the same way I feel about plants. Yeah, context is everything. See, most of it isn't that interesting. It's just there's certain things that jump out at me. What do you think law enforcement is like here in beautiful Garden, Arkansas? Very friendly. I'm already getting a burning, scratchy feeling in my throat, probably from as asbestos fibers being being lodged in my esophagus. Hey, you're kicking up a lot of dust. Come on now. You know you're fucking crazy. I mean, yeah, yeah. I think it's a good time to go. Someone left the butt ice. We got a we got a significant hazard right there. Let it be known, okay? Any personal uh, injury attorneys in the audience? So, are, are, do, Brody, do you feel kind of like you're documenting American decay? Mm, well, in many not, cases, not, you are. It's not my intention, but yeah. It's thing what was the work with junkies you were just doing? That's how I'm going. <laughs> just documenting it, you know? Are you documenting the opioid look at this crisis? Old, look, no. Look at this old record player. You gotta carry more film with no, you. No, I do. It's in the car, but I kind of wanna. Here, I'll just do one of these. I got three cameras, dude. You can never have too many cameras. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Look at how toxic that looks. Let's do lines. Crush it up. Do it in the bathroom of a shitty dive bar. God, this is. I'm. You know, I'm about to break out. It could be a. Could be a psychosomatic thing too. Look at it. They just with this beautiful piece of machinery. I'm I'm surprised they didn't want to get rid of any of the machinery. They want to liquidate it's any burnt. of it. It's still good iron. It's ruined. You know, couldn't be any worse than the stuff they're shipping us from China. <clears throat> let's go. You ready to go? All right, let's go. Tuba. You think Buzz Blur would want this? Maybe. Just grab the tube and let's get out of here. It's not a tube, but it's a trumpet. What is it? Grab it. Just grab it and get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What the fuck you doing? Let's go. Tell us. Uh, tell us what you're doing. Um, I have an old film camera and I'm changing the roll. I ran out. I'm putting a new roll of film in. Now, how do you do? You got to snap that thing? Yeah, I got a, I got a motor drive, so it winds it automatically. They don't do this no more. Where do you get that developed? You got to send it away? I send you, it to a place in Berkeley or Salt Lake City. You can't take it to Walgreens, huh? No. That's done. Look at helenium. Got a real nice helenium there. What are you doing? Huh? What, are you, what are you doing? We're, 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 this is uh, the storefront. Come on, Lou. Tax services. This is, uh, tax Buster's. preparation, payroll, Look, payroll, and, payroll and bookkeeping. Why'd that, you do that? This guy? Why'd no, you that, do that's that? That's his storefront. Yeah, why'd you do that? What's he do over here? I don't know, I've never been here. Goods and services. Tax preparation. Russell Butler. Okay. 
Oh yeah, it's wrecked in there. That looks nice. Not responsible for accidents. The flavor in downtown Garden, Arkansas, is amenable. I find it, uh, I find it very homey and warm. That's got to be nice. I bet the rent on this is like 150. And look at all the space you got in there. Okay, it's totally destroyed. All right, looks semi-abandoned. You know, he's got all kind. I don't know what he's doing with this all this kind of arty stuff. You know, you know these arty guys. You know, he could use a nice Dyson in there to vacuum up some of this this crap, you know? Yeah, you know. Uh, in the age of the internet, everybody's a poser. You know, but I bet this guy's still weird enough. You know, he's been doing this drawing. He's been drawing on a damn boxcars and stuff. Used to be a switchman for Union Pacific. All right. That, that right there is enough to scar you for life. Uh, but he retired, you know, and he's just been drawing these little things on the boxcars. And I does all the mail art, and he got this nice little storefront down here in beautiful garden. But again, when you get no, you know you get some notoriety, everybody ends up becoming a phony. You ham it up. Very few people are able to escape that fate. But judging by the uh, level of trash in this man's studio, I'd say maybe he's maybe he's done it. You got a goddamn vacuum though. Look at the part. Look at the dust in there. Look at it. It, now here you could see a more ergonomic switch. Oh, there's a nice free shovel too. A more ergonomic switch that apparently someone, possibly maintenance away, backed up to with their truck. Okay, but the the carrier used to really like these. They were always a pain in the ass to throw. Oh yeah, that's fucked. That's not going anywhere. They they would like the they like these because uh, you got the clamp and they got the handle. So you know you can't say, "Ooh, I hurt my back. Let me file a lawsuit." All right, but there's always ways to find out how to get a lawsuit. You know, at least with the railroad. Look, this got sprayed with a little bit of herbicide. Macardonia acuminata. Plantagenaceae. It's a native. It's a native species to the southeast. From the same family that brought you penstemon. World leaves. And look at it. You got a little bit of teeth on the distal end of those leaves. Look at those long ass uh, petioles, though. See that? No, no, peduncles. Excuse me. What the fuck am I talking about? I've been in the fucking car too long. You coming over here or what? Look at the solid doggo. Fields of solid doggo. I'm losing my goddamn mind. We've made it about, I don't know, 40 miles in the last six hours. We keep stopping too much. Look, you got the liquid ambar native here too. Nice. Get those in Chiapas, Mexico cloud forest too. Where it's warm enough, warm and hot enough. Symphiotrichum. The solid dagos are nice. Look at those. Big motherfuckers. Oh my God. See, they're still blooming late fall. Like a lot of camps. A lot of comps in North America blooming late fall. Okay, you get those nice uh, nectar source when everything else is, is shutting down for the season. Probably a super fun site right here. How about that? That's quaint. Little uh, little clusters of dried toxic algae. A nice algal mat. Oh, you got something. You know, it's still kind of balmy here. How cold does it get in Garden, Arkansas? In the Why the fuck are we in Arkansas? It's a good question. Why are we doing What are we doing here? Why did, but why did you want to stop? So I saw the sign, it said Gurdon, 12 miles away, and well, I said pull over. We're making over. horrible time. You so know what I mean? We're not, <laughs> yeah. there's nowhere to go. I don't know why you talk. Yeah. We're at an odd point in uh, human history, in American cultural history specifically. Look at all the composites going off. Look, you got your symphiotrichums. Look what they look like before the ligules open up. Oh, yeah. No, maybe they're done. Are those done? No, they're not open yet. They're opening. Eupatorium. This is a this is a fucking banger right here. Eupatorium capillifolium. Look, a little cascade of tiny white flowers. Look at that. Look, and you got the styles poking out the way they do for tribe Eupatorii. Okay, the stevia tribe. Yeah, asshole. Beautiful red in that too. Look at those pigments. Look at those anthocyanins. And there, you got some. I wonder what the secondary chemistry this plant has. Okay, many of the composites have some good secondary chemistry. Good as in it'll keep people from gnawing on you. And sometimes those secondary metabolites have uh, medicinal or remedial properties when ingested uh, or applied to the epidermal tissue of the human body. Everybody in Arkansas is so nice. Do you think so? Do you think people in Arkansas are nice? Yeah. How nice are they? I don't know. I haven't been here long enough. I think people everywhere are nice. But they're friendly. That's because you're not. You're a nice guy. Sometimes. See that that's you know because of the oil stains, 
this land can't be sold for condos. The property can't be sold for condos until they clean that up. They got to remove the dirty dirt, put it in a container, and ship it somewhere else. And I bet you the railroad would like to do that. You know, they have no appreciation for cultural history, landmark status. What's this Symphio Tricum? You got a purple one. Kind of a boring genus here, Symphio Tricum, but you do get some, uh, you know, some variability in flavor. Why don't you come here? Why don't you come here? Why don't you come here? Poke it with a stick. It's, it's just poke it with that stick. Do it. It's grease, yeah. I know. Just do it. Poke Ooh, it with the stick. It's grease. Oh. Yeah, it's does grease. that turn you on? Look at it. Just smear it around it a little bit. So funny. No, put a little bit more energy no, into it. Why don't you? No, no, no. No, no. Turn it around. It's how you exist in a world. Just you're just an observer. Are you an artist? Would you ever call yourself that? Yes. No. Don't do that. When you call yourself that, you ruin it. It's okay. No, just do it. Just do it. Just do what you do. You just you know you like looking at stuff. You make observations. What you choose to record, that's gross. That's why well, you gotta make it fucking loot. I'm trying to, come on. <laughs> that's why that guy was waiting. He's waiting for this guy to go into the siding. There you go. Is that what's going on? Now they're going into double track. See that up there? Look like, yeah, here I am making fucking foamer videos. Those poor bastards in there. My heart is with you, okay? I feel your, how much are the fucking healthcare costs now, huh? So see, now he went, to, he's going into the siding, but that's a relatively high speed siding. See the track back there? So the other guy that we've seen waiting, he's gonna take that now. I remember just fucking waiting, you know, felt like waiting for Godot. Waiting for an oncoming train to take a siding and pass. Oh yeah? Smooth. Listen to that. You don't have any flat spots on those wheels right now. Listen how smooth that is. There's a flat spot right there. You hear that? There's a real bad flat spot. Like the switchmen were dragging that around with the handbrake still on. There's another bad flat spot. Fucking hot, right? Let's go. Andro Andropogon too. Beautiful grass. Do you like Andropogons? Dick. Beautiful trackside native garden for central Arkansas. Union Pacific is unconsciously providing habitat for the uh, birds and insects of Garden, Arkansas. But don't tell them, don't tell them that because they'll come destroy it. Why are we still doing this, brody? This shit is bent. It's a, it's beat. Yeah, trains are boring. You picked up Mark at, at Memphis. Yeah, we didn't even yeah. mean to. He was just going was to. A... I've been on. I, I I started a small trucking business, and uh, I was I worked for like a year straight, and I decided to kind of like fuck off for a little while and travel and hop some trains and whatever. I ended up flying from Florida to Memphis to meet up with some other friends. Coincidentally, though, he was driving through, so I said, "Oh, hell with it." And I just went with him, and now I'm just we're just hanging out. Yeah, neither one of us really seems to know what we're doing yeah, at this stage in life. We got like a general plan in life, not yeah, just today, yeah. and not just tomorrow yeah. either. Yeah, I saw someone cut. A, they found a Herbie. And it was on the internet. Someone cut a boxcar slice. I yeah, it was a Herbie. That, that was that Michael Green. Yeah, he's cool. I talked to him. I never met him, but I talked to him. That's me and the missus here after our house burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this used to be her. This part part over here used to be this lady we bought it from. That was her business. She had a real estate and income tax and insurance, and this was her office. And then when she retired, she built this portion on here. So we we really bought this so I could have a, the missus could have a place to to decorate the way she wants to, and then I could make my messes in this place. I had the ambition of being a, an artist. I was a student at taking painting and, and sculpture and printmaking and uh, so, but I, and then I, so the railroad, I, they, I hired out on the railroad in '62, and my dad was a 
roadmaster uh -huh. in track maintenance. And, and that was Missouri Pacific back then, yeah. right? Yeah. And so I, they, at that time, the the had a lot of old heads. And at that time, if you had a certain amount of seniority, you got your vacation when you requested it, you know? Yeah. And it, and it didn't sparse it out so you wouldn't have a glut of people on vacation, you know, like they do now. Right. And so they had to hire college boys to work with extra boys during the summer. At that time, you worked during the summer pretty steady, make money for to go to school in the fall. And uh, and then all the guys is vacation. They always want to take it during the hot summertime here in this hot and humid Arkansas. So uh, you'd be cut off anyway. So yeah. Uh, then I had, uh, so I was go back to school, but then Vietnam happened and, and they was uh, uh, needing more and more men to work. So they give me the ultimatum to mark up and and work full time or lose my seniority. I had, by this time I had about three years seniority, and uh, I, was, I was dating my wife and and we was planning on getting married after she finished high school, and uh, so uh, we up to uh, I quit school, dropped out of school. And marked up and was working steady, and, uh, and I lost my student deferment. I was about to get drafted, so we got married. Up, we weren't taking married men, so I, I, uh, we got up to our wedding plans, and nice. we weren't taking married men nice. at that time. So I've been, and then they finally decided to take married men, and then we had a child on the way. So I mean, I was taking as a draft dodger, I was staying. One kid ahead of the ramp. <laughs> so you didn't have to go to war? No. Okay. Nice. Never did go into service. That was some bullshit war, too, man. <laughs> you, oh, my God. Have, you might have died. Yeah, I might have been. The, I've been the, yeah. It was 55,000 guys. Lost. Initially, me. The generation, my, my grandfather was also a track. But you weren't school. intending like a long-term career when you started, though, huh? Uh, well, you know, I, I, what was I going to do with arts, you know? The only thing, <laughs> I was going to a teacher's, uh, state college, teacher's college, the only thing I could do was get my BA and, and degree and, and maybe teach art in high school, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, this railroad paid a hell of a lot more than school, school teachers, so I, I saw, got to see in all of, uh, uh, Herbie's and, and uh, uh, the Rambler and all the other people that was doing monikers during that time. And so, I mean, you know, I hear I, the whole omnipresence of every day you'd see a Herbie or or a, a, a Omar or, or Charlie Brown or all these other people that yeah. was indulging in monikers. So I thought, I mean, you know, something is that pervasive and, I, and I'm working down here in the yard, I'm working in this yard switching cars and I'm working along the field and I'm down here. Why I, why not indulge myself? You mm -hmm. know? It's a, it was a way to be engaged in some kind of art activity and I could express my alienation at certain times. And it was something that... Uh, it, Art related that I could do day in and day out, you know. Yeah. It, I mean, it, since I was going to be down, I was working long field and uh, on the switcher, and and I was, was, my obligation was to make sure the, the yard was kind of downhill, s slight downhill. It was perfect for a uh, gravity yard switching. You know, that's when we was kicking cars and. And, You'd have and, to make sure there's like three handbrakes tied at the end, then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they don't roll, they out, roll the, out. You ever get rollouts there? Oh yeah, well, I had runaways and all that. <laughs> uh, derailments and whatnot. So. Nice. But I mean, you know, so I I was obliged to make the five yard tracks that that we did our switching in didn't you know roll out the other end. So and then I was obliged to build our to make a couple of air for our 
local moves that we'd go out and work industries and out on the main line and stuff like that. So it was, I was obliged to stay down in amongst the cars and line the air as the cars were, you know, rolled to joints. And so I'm, I just started using, uh, I, I've had all these paints from uh, my student days as a, and when I was going to school, oil paints, and uh, I could buy uh, beeswax at the, at the drugstore, and then I'd melt the wax and pour in my my oil paints in there, and, and then when it was <laughs> bolted, I could pour it into nickel and dime. Oh my God, you steel. were making your own, no shit, yeah, that's so, so cool. <laughs> that's so, pretty so crafty. Yeah, right. Especially if you're doing thousands. And, but, yeah, I mean, God damn, so that's was, amazing. But then the Markovs, you know, the bridge people showed me some Markovs, so, you know, I started ordering Markovs. So Those are nice. That They they're have long life, too. Yeah. Uh, probably not as long as my initial. Who showed it to you? Maintenance Away? Or the uh, bridge? bridge people. Oh, Bridge and Signal? You know, they got yeah. Mark measure stuff there. That, on when they're on their stringers and everything. Mm -hmm. This is what, like seventies, late sixties, or yeah. Well, I started it, like I say, in seventy one. Right. So, uh, yeah. So it was from all ever since, and, uh, from November seventy one till still at it, but not. I don't have enough wind in my lungs yeah. to go out and make yeah. thirty or forty drawings on. Yeah. That number of cars plus, uh, I mean, they they running these trains of 10,000 foot trains and they're blocking the crossing. And yeah. So I could drive right up to a crossing yeah. and get out and make two or three drawings. <laughs> That's my document. This, you know, originally published this book in, uh, uh, in uh, like 84, documenting my daily dispatches the words I used. So this is everything you would write day yeah. by day. Wow. So I was documenting up till till uh, uh, till I quit keeping up with it in in uh, 81 I think. How many would you do of each one? Uh, it was like uh, it would depend from 30 to 40 a day. So when you were when you were out you know it worked just walking around writing this stuff on cars. What would be the, uh, what would be the, you know, like where would you get some of the, the stuff you'd write? Like, cause it's, you know, it's like short poetry almost. Yeah, right. Well, uh, it's like whatever configuration of cursive words I could come up with, you know, that Matt denote to be a memory jog for what was happening at that particular time, you know? Yeah. But it'd be, so obscure what nobody else could uh, could understand what it pretty obscure but still kind of not pretentious and kind of you know uh most of them are existential and make you think and you yeah that's really it fun in, yeah you can interpret it in different ways yeah uh, apply it to your own life right i mean it's oh it's for open mm -hmm. interpretation mm -hmm. for who whatever it means to yep. the observer you know that was from a Jack Kerouac poem, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He wrote a long poem about his days on the Southern Civic when he worked for with uh, Neil Cassidy. Uh, Neil Cassidy got him hired on to the Southern Civic. He was working in, I think he worked in Oakland, too. He was working in yeah, Oakland, he worked out of San Francisco. San Francisco. God, I would have loved to see that city back then. Much different than today. Indeed. Some of the stuff you would write... Too. I, mean, I just remember seeing this and I was like, what the fuck does that mean? But it's awesome to see. I'm out here in the middle of fucking, I'd see, I'd be in like a, you know, a, a, one of the smaller yards on the outskirts of Chicago. Yeah. That's, there's no one there. And I'd see this stuff. I was fucking 16. I'd be like, what the fuck is this? And it's so cool. Just all the mystery, you know? Yeah. The moniker culture that I was aware of seeing everybody else, they didn't have, they'd have their icon or their image. And then they'd have uh, their name, like uh, Herbie, and mm -hmm. then a date. Mm -hmm. So to me, uh, that I come up with uh, putting a different name every day, you know, 
something that would remind me of what happened that day or what was on my mind or whatever. So that language was kind of a, what made a mystery of it, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, the, the things you were writing, obviously some other people too, inspired like multiple generations of people to, to do the same thing. So now you have everyone and their brother riding something on train cars, but unfortunately a lot of it doesn't have the same sincerity. Because oh, yeah. I don't think they had the same background and life experience. Plus, they know they're being watched, too. I think yeah. that's that was the thing I think about getting these fucking switchmen in the 60s writing on stuff. Because they didn't know, you know, no one was looking at them. They were just enjoy they were just writing it to each other or just doing it for shits and giggles and fun. And that was like the really, the organic thing about it, you know. Not expecting, because you didn't expect people to be looking at this stuff except other switchmen, maybe, right? Right. I tried to keep it on the down low there for... You think your dad would have been pissed if he caught you? Oh, no, I think he was impressed that I, I found a, something to keep my, be busy because I'd always been, uh, as a kid, been making art, you know, uh, painting on cardboard with different yeah. paint and stuff like that. Who did this drawing of you? Did you do that? Those are just Xerox. There's my book. Here, the oh, books cool. I make. Interesting. Uh, yeah, those are just uh, my uh, uh, stencil. I do a stencil, stencil portrait every year of my birthday. So that's some of those. And, and oh, like a self-portrait. Yeah, as a mugshot of myself. So it's kind of a mashup of just whatever you want to do. Yeah. And I do it on that surplus, uh, right over on my, at the depot on the, sneak in there at night on the, and it's got train orders and whatever. And then, of course, there's a list of, of whatever the drawing I made for a certain day. I do miss the work perks from the railroad. I remember when I used to have that carbon paper with the, uh, the jet printers, remember that? Yeah. And so you, I would do drawings on those, and then you get like two or three copies of them, you know, because they would it'd be that carbon copy paper for train orders and stuff, track well, warrants. Yeah. And, uh, 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 show of the moniker culture. Yep. So that's a cool image. Yeah, that's he. He did that boxcar over there too. That whole how. I did this portrait in 1984. But this is, uh, the curtains is on the windows of the house. And then I just added that. So this is curtain for the main, we used to live on Main Street. So. Oh, that's why you used to write Exiles on Main Street. Yeah, know, they, right. Yeah, I remember, I remember seeing that. So, I mean, we was kind of like, I was uh, always known as a weirdo around here. So <laughs> we didn't have many friends, so we lived on Main Street. Photo booth picture was from 82. Was it Union Station or Northwestern? Union Station. Yeah, I spent a lot of time there as a kid. Yeah, and so I was on. My, I was going to catch the the Lakeshore Limited from Chicago to New York, and uh, so uh, I had, I had even, I forgot about it, but my daughter was visiting, and she had it. A friend of hers had the the original, and I I. Uh, How old were you here? Uh, Eighty two. Uh, I was uh, 39, so I was uh, I was balding, but not gray. Rubber stamp there. So he he cut them. What he what he used? Just some sort of a linoleum cutter, somewhere? I I guess. Wow. Wonder I wonder where that original image came from. That gal on the yeah, I wonder where the original came from because I I don't know. This is a, the Andy Dreaming Wolf, and that's another image from that Scott Phillips that's, that did the box cars and that the, looks yeah. like A number one. It is an A yeah. number one. That's from like, uh, feelings in here. Who's the guy on the wall? Who's the mugshot? That's Kerouac. Oh yeah. Oh, he was a handsome fuck. Look at that. Yeah. This mail art and and correspondence and artist stamps is just 
overwhelming. So yeah, <laughs> get, get mail art in every day, you know. So and then course, so you get people writing you from all over the world now, huh? Right. Yeah. But I mean, it's the postal service is being screwed by that the joy person. Yeah, Louis the joy. I know him. I, I I keep him in my thoughts whenever I'm feeling a uh, you know rage. Yeah, Rage or moments of hate. Indeed. Were you working switch jobs or locals? I was on a, I was on a, three p.m. switch engine there. Second shit. That's for, nice. I man. mean, it was like 12, that was my favorite. Twelve hour a day. You know? Yeah, my favorite job was the eighty-two job in Oakland. They got rid of it with PSR when PSR came in, but that was the best. Everyone's coming home from work and you're going to work. Yeah. Stay up late, sleep late. Yeah. You never did you ever you ever worked the road, huh? Uh just a little bit during the first two summers I worked. Yeah. Working out of Little Rock to Texas They was running freights to uh, catch freight jobs. Of course catch a few locals too, but so but uh mainly I did most of my work here in Garden Yard. Yeah, yard's more fun. I didn't like working the road too much. Yeah, I didn't want to work in a big yard. Louie, there's no sausages in there. Come here. Gotcha. This might interest you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it will. Taking uh, uh, SX70 from a slightly different oh, angle. Oh my God. And you have a 3D effect. <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit! Dude! <laughs> Wow, and does this slide around? Or... Well, you can adjust it to oh, work. Okay. Looks like one of those eyed wide shut masks. Whoa. This is so cool. I see, it's one picture. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, you gotta work it to where it's one picture and not two. Oh, and it's 3D. Wow. Art is reality filtered through a human consciousness. <laughs> All artists are full of shit in some ways. Indeed. Right, I, I want to do it. Let me see. Let me, let me see that. I want to do it, though. Okay, let me hang on. God damn. Yeah, that is cool. So it's, yeah, I mean, it's the basic concept of like a 3D image. Like, uh, you know, one image drawn in blue and then slightly to the right or to the left, another image drawn in red. So you just took two photos of the same scene, but two different photos slightly angled. Yeah, just, you know, like, take it kind of like from the left angle, and then you wouldn't have to move the camera for maybe three or four inches and take another one. God damn, and that's you know, crazy. The, it does, it looks good, man. The SX-70 would spew out the prints at this readily there. So, I mean, you know, I guess uh, there's been some others that have picked up that uh, mode of... Thousands of people do it. Yeah. So, Tons of people do it. But most of them don't work for the railroad or have a work ethic at all, so I don't know. <laughs> they, they, they try to be poetic, but they don't have the life experience. Yeah, and it feels it. it feels canned it feels a little forced, bit. Like it feels canned and forced. And they know. Yeah. I think that's with any art. It's like when it comes out on its own, that's when it's the best. And the the for to use a corny word, that's when it's the most magical. Yeah. And then once people become aware of it, then it kind of starts getting shit canned. I mean, it's just you know the way the culture works. I guess it feels can and contrived and people start hamming it up and stuff but that's what i like about a lot of the early railroad monikers though is like <clears throat> those guys weren't they didn't know anyone was looking they were just doing it you know but there was also when you were doing this there wasn't a bunch of spray paint stuff yet really no, huh? no. i mean you know that didn't really start till the late 80s and then early 90s but i mean of course you can't find a car now that doesn't have it yeah and i mean that's one thing is you know you the whole moniker culture has been supplanted by the bubble letter extrapolations of the spray paint people. Right. Oh, yeah, what was the Gypsy Sphinx? What was that? Weren't you doing that for a while? Yeah, I did. Uh, well... My initial icon was uh, uh, that uh, uh, 
uh, broad-shouldered dude there with the, and then I transitioned to the, when, uh, while we, the whole time we was living on Smith Street, uh, I was doing uh, the Gypsy Sphinx type character, and uh, so I, when uh, when we when we transitioned uh, to uh, living on Main Street, which we lived there for 33 years for the lightning hit, I was doing uh, the Gypsy Sphinx, and but I did this a whole year of Gypsy Sphinx as a caption, as a send off for that character, and then I transitioned to the to the uh, kind of rider cowboy image of the Colossus Rhodes. So I mean I've got so many pages and I'm documenting my birthdays and that's 77 so I'm 78 now so uh, uh, this is my documentation of my life and so God I love it. <laughs> that's good. This is when I had hair in 78. And that's when I didn't have any. 76. Delusions of grandeur. Yeah, Colossus of Rhodes. It's so weird seeing you use a phone to take photos. You always. Because this isn't like. Yeah. I'm not doing real art. This is more just posterity, like documenting things I want to remember. You just want a record. Yeah, right. This is more record. Yeah. When I get when I use the Nikon, it's like Where does the line between documentation and art I blur? Don't, I don't okay. know. When it gets censored on Instagram. It said uh they said highway of hope. <laughs> We're on the highway of hope. Look at the pines. Better than the highway of hope. I had no idea Arkansas would be so nice. What a gentleman. He was a kind man. Russell Butler. It's fucking unreal, though. That guy, you know, I remember seeing that shit when I was 15. I'd see, uh, you know, I'd be, like, walking the railroad siding because that was the only place I felt comfortable. You know, because it was like a... It, railroad sidings are, like, a nice place to get the fuck away from people. Um, I don't know. There's, like, a feeling, you know? There's, yeah. like, a solitude and a pleasantness. Yeah. And I remember seeing that little cowboy thing he would draw. 15 yeah. fucking years old. Yeah. You know? I took a bullet. I took a bullet right at the first one I saw in Pensacola, Florida. It was on a blue rail box. But I remember being, yeah, 15, just seeing that guy's stuff and being like, what the fuck is this? What, what does this mean? This is such a weird thing. Why is it on this fucking gondola car? You know, that's yeah. just the fucking smell of creosote. Intriguing. And train tracks are always such a peaceful place to be. To me, at least. You know, nobody around. There was a degree of solitude. Count. 